we're gonna kind of be talking about. Mm -hmm. um, so we were kind of kind of like go through each matchup and kind of analyze kind of what's happened and you know kind of how that impacts what uh, you know the organizations and the players that you know are on those teams. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know what, what what game would you like to start with. I think we could just go. Uh, we can start on the west and then go to go, the go east. to the east. Yeah. Okay. For so sure. one and eight. Denver. Okay, for sure. Minnesota. Yeah. So so Minnesota. Pretty simple. Yeah. It's, this is this is the one versus eight seed matchup. Um, so this was Denver versus Minnesota. Um, this matchup was interesting, dude. I I personally thought that the Timberwolves actually played well. Yeah. Uh, if you were if you were watching the game, yeah. Did you watch them? Yeah, I watched them. Okay, cool. So yeah, I, I thought that they played well. Obviously, the Nuggets are the Nuggets. They're the ones yeah. in the NBA. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they. I thought the Timberwolves actually had some things to like hold their head high about, like mm -hmm. in this series. And I think one of them's Anthony Edwards. Oh, without a doubt. Obviously, if you guys know ball, like you know Anthony Edwards is really coming into like his own. His own I yeah. feel like that. That's kind of what that series was about for me when I was watching. I kind of knew, obviously. The, the Nuggets were going to go on. I really um, thought they were going to sweep. But. Yeah, I thought yeah. they were going to sweep, too. They had that gentleman sweep. Yeah. And they, they got, Minnesota got one. But yeah. watching Ant, for me, has been a joy. Yeah. Uh, I think this season was really cool to see him grow up. And mm. uh, that playoff series was really, like, I think for him was really a growth spot. And I feel like, obviously, the Timberwolves are kind of in a spot where they, they kind of traded everything that they have for these you know, for Rudy Gobert, basically. Yeah. Um, so they have these two big guys and then Anthony Edwards. So they're kind of, they're in a little bit of a rough patch, but I feel like they they played well. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I think they, their bright spot was definitely Anthony yeah. Edwards. Yeah. And I feel and like, uh, I mean, they, I think even the Timberwolves, like, uh, organization had said it, like, I think they're wanting to build around him. So, yeah, like, and that sure. is definitely the smart thing to do. Uh, I don't like that Gobert trade. Y'all gave up a lot of y'all's future to get him, and yeah. I don't really think he's like that. I That's mean, a whole other thing, you know. And yeah. um, but as a team, <laughs> like like I said, I really thought a sweep was about to happen. But yeah, for I mean, sure. I, I'm glad they at least got one game, got more experience, and like at this point for me, I just really want to see competition and all the like. Every single like matchup, match right. you know, like I don't want it to be a oh, it's a one eight, it's gonna be a blowout, you know. We'll talk about it in the in the Eastern Conference, obviously, but uh, it was like that. Yeah, prior it, to it, like, it really see, was, and and I feel like the the play in just added more competition to the league, and I really do love the play in because it gives. Mm -hmm that 10th seed, an opportunity to fight to get into the playoffs because that's essentially what you're wanting as a young team, you know? Yeah, And exactly. that's what that 10 to 8 seed is. Right. It's usually like a, that a young team, team that is trying to get, like, get comfortable with each other so mm -hmm. they can hoop and stuff. Or a team that struggled, like the Lakers, right. and were, like, just getting their footing in at the end of the season. Right. So, yeah, I love just it, honestly. Stride. Yeah, but... Uh, no, I mean Jokic is Jokic. I don't, yeah, I don't Jokic. think that's that's kind of what summed up that series for me. Yeah, I, I think it's 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 less about the Nuggets and more about the Timberwolves. I mm -hmm. I think that's kind of what me and CJ are you know both agree on. It's it's like and um, I think they have some questions to answer about Cat and Rudy Gobert still kind of what they're gonna do. The, the I would Timberwolves trade Cat. Really? Yeah, I mean honestly, bro. Like at this point, like I don't I don't. I haven't heard that from anybody. Why I, why do you say that? I would if I was the Timberwolves oh. personally. Because okay. I feel like Interesting. just like his, Why? I think he's good. I just don't think like he's like, like he's all that. that. Yeah. I, I think, you know, that's, that's, you, you pose an interesting question with that. And what kind of, I think, I think there will be a few interesting questions within these matchups. Kind of these teams have some decisions to make in the off season with some of the players that they have on their roster. Cause it's obvious to me that cat isn't the guy, mm -hmm. right? It's ant. Yeah. So it, it's true. Like I think they should shop cat yeah. in a sense where it's like, like let's you guys say, see what you can get for. Let's say you get you know cat is back, yeah right? cat is all star player. He'll, you'll probably be at least be able to get like two first round picks, three first round picks, right? Like a decent or like, a decent haul for yeah. Like you're gonna like be that. able to get some players. Yeah. So, so. I, I think the point is that just the Timberwolves gotta be. This season they they or this off season they have to be pretty blunt in what they're trying to achieve and yeah. they they know that it's Anthony Edwards is the guy. Mm -hmm. I think all of us know that in this room, even that aren't doing the podcast sure. right now, know that yeah. Anthony Edwards is the guy. So, you know, it's 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 that. Uh, it's, it was less about the Nuggets and more about the Timberwolves for us. Yeah, so that's kind of what that matchup was about. Oh yeah, go yeah. Let's, let's go to the next one. Uh, two seven Memphis versus Lakers. Yeah. Uh, I think. You know, the, you're the Lakers really, fan over here. I yeah, want to hear what your thoughts on really, that one. This was a really, really eye-opening series for me. 
Um, and if if you if you're a Lakers fan, um, the trades that happened at the deadline really improved our roster a lot. And crazy this this series really showed those improvements and and how much those 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 can change a playoff series. Uh, this was about Anthony Davis and Jared Vanderbilt and Austin Reeves and those guys kind of coming together and Man. you know just 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 gelling at the right time. Mm-hmm. Um, the Grizzlies, I think, have always been kind of overrated to me. I, I again, yeah. I, I yeah, I'm not a Grizzlies fan. Um, I think they do have a, a really good young core. I think they yeah. have a, you know, mm. they have bright young players. I think you know Jaws. You know he's kind of going through a tough time right now. But we all know Jaws. Jaw, like yeah. we're never gonna hate on Jaw. We, we, you know, he's always got our full support. Like, but yeah, just the, the Grizzlies have always been kind of a weird team to me. But for me, this was just about seeing the Lakers gel at the right time and kind of that roster really coming to together. Yeah. And it was it was really nice to see. I think yeah. I think Memphis has a lot of things to work on too. Yeah. Um I think they made some good, you know, additions at the deadline. They got Luke Kennard and like a few that other guys. And that's up. a good th- mm-hmm. those are good pickups. But again, they just have like other things they gotta work on. And I think they might be off the court. Like I don't know if it's yeah. even on the court stuff. So yeah, I think yeah. it might be like literally team chemistry things mm. um that's that stuff's got to be solved in the off season and in team training camp tra- team training camp so yeah, yeah man. man it's it's it was about the lakers for me uh yeah. seeing that roster gel mm-hmm. seeing how well they, how well they're playing together and then kind of how that was going to translate to the next series so. yeah absolutely yeah no i same way like i feel like this was a very good test for the lakers yeah you know what i mean like if if they couldn't beat them, then like they didn't deserve to be in the playoffs. Yeah, you know, type of exactly. vibe. Obviously, like it's how it, it was works. a good test. It was a good like, all right, if y'all can beat the this good young team that right. is, you know, the second team in the West. They yeah, they're the second season, seed. Like, yeah. So um, no, it was it was great to see a lot of those role players step up into the role, especially Austin Reeves. Like I think that oh, was man. when he kind of AR-15. starting up. Yeah, he started to show people like he's really like that. You know, yeah, just a good player, like a smart yeah. player that. Is gonna go out there and like do what he needs to do to mm-hmm. win. And so. I think again, the Grizzlies had you know they have like Desmond Bain was hooping. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Jaw was doing his thing. I think Jaw was also injured too. Yeah, Jaw so. was hurt. I think what was it, it was his, his wrist, hand. his hand or yeah. something. I think he he was kind of a little bit reckless. Again, like the Grizzlies have things they got to work on oh, just yeah. other it's just, stuff. It's just that's a young not team, NBA. Yeah. Like it's not hoop. No, nah. it's like off the court stuff or it's like learning how to like not get hurt when you yeah. fall and like other yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Just take stuff, care of your body. Yeah, just stuff. weird young, stuff like you know? that. Yeah, they're young. Like, that, that's why like, I don't know. Steven like, Adams wasn't there. Yeah. Like I think that was a big loss. Yeah, too. who was there? Someone else was injured as well. I think it was like their other who big else? man. I don't know, remember. And then Dylan Brooks was being Dylan Brooks. Yeah, yeah. And that was a nightmare. So he, that uh, concoction added up to 4-2. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, hey. Lakers. Lakers. So that was, that was really cool to see. And, yeah. and, and, and like, like I said, I was excited to see how that was going to translate to whoever we played in the next matchup. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so I guess let's go into the four or five matchup: mm-hmm. Phoenix versus this one Clippers. Cool. This one was cool. Uh, I guess I'll start this one yeah, off. You wanna, uh, this this one was crazy, man. You know, I think was it game one, not the Clippers one. And yeah, Kawhi one. was there and dropped like thirty-seven like or something. Almost shit. forty. Yeah, like so. He's um, such a bro, good player, bro. If I don't know what it is with Kawhi, man. I think it, it might be something like off the court stuff too. Yeah, bro. Like I not think even he, he, yeah, like his just head isn't like in the game, right? You know, because uh, when he's playing, he's clearly one of the best players in the league. And this is a down. big deal because Kawhi is kind of the Clippers. He is so the Clippers. wherever, where, he, yeah, Paul wherever George, Kawhi goes, it, it, it sucks to say, but he's always injured. Yeah, and he's obviously one of the best players in the league as well. But they can't stay healthy. Yeah, and I feel like that is what summarized this series, which yes. is health for the Clippers. Yeah. If they were healthy. They probably wouldn't be, would have been able to beat the Suns even with as as explosive as KD and Booker and the were. Russell Westbrook resurgence. And the res- oh, I, bro, like I love that. That, that too. oh, that was that was when uh that was when they won because uh-huh. Russ got that like block on yeah for sure and like threw it over. no like, yeah, yeah it was kind of like but it was because and it's like CJ saying is because guys were hurt that Russ was able to do that again and kind of show that he was you know still capable of that so a lot of things have to go right for the Clippers to be good basically yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and then. I mean the Suns was just they, they got Devin Booker yeah, and they 36. got Kevin Durant. Yeah, thirty six. Yeah, yeah so. that's so that's that's an interesting. Uh, their Matt Ishbia, their owner, kind of went all in on the, during the trade deadline on KD, and I'm sure you guys know by now he plays for the Suns. But mm. that trade was really big. I think it kind of sent Shawkers to the NBA, and I'm honestly not like a 
super big Kevin Durant fan, but yeah. I understand like, oh, he's a seven foot demigod. He can shoot yeah. from anywhere. So I understand you're going to get a huge haul for him. Yeah. Um, you know, hopefully that works out for the Suns. I think in this series it did. The, uh, Booker and Durant were able to carry them like long enough to get over that hump. Um, mm. I think if Kawhi Leonard and Paul George are healthy, how do you think the series goes? Because I feel it definitely like it's wouldn't different. have been a five game series. Yeah, it would have been seven. a seven. Yeah, it was easily. seven. Like, um, and I think that that's game. I think seven the NBA was possible. expecting seven. Uh, for sure. Yeah. yeah like absolutely. I think it was like one of those things where I think when Kawhi kind of was like, "Oh, I'm hurt magically," and he always does that too. He magically in the playoffs. Yeah, he magically just goes ghost. It sucks. There's a few players that do that, and we'll kind of talk about we'll that talk later. About but that. yeah, yeah that that series was all 36. Um, just Kevin Durant, uh, Devin Booker, those mm-hmm. guys are crazy. Um, probably both Hall of Famers, so yep. first ballot. Hell yeah. And then I guess we can finish this last one off. Uh, oh, Warriors, S- right. Sacramento, Golden This State. series was the best of the first round to me. Easily. Easily. I mean, um, obviously, the only watched. game, yeah, the only game that went to seven yeah. in the West. Mm-hmm. So uh, Super special. Yeah, I guess. Uh, this, was, this was a battle. Again, I think... St- this is the greatness of Steph Curry. This is a, this is what the series reminds me of. Is kind of like that's kind of what I that was the takeaway I got. It's not that I need to be reminded of that, but it was more that like I think he kind of reminded the world of that. Like if anybody forgot, um, it was kind of that. Um, yeah, the, the shout out to the Kings, man. I'm from Sacramento. Like Got I said early, the, the, earlier, they're really, really good, talented and really good. I think the De- DeMontis Sabonis trade really unlocked a lot of things for them. Mm. I think he goes goes to the playoffs. That's a whole nother like problem yeah. there's a few players that do but Sabonis is one of them and that's sad De'Aaron Fox does not that's really cool to see yeah um he was balling that's another takeaway that I got that he's the real deal yes. I don't know if people don't know that but De'Aaron Fox is, is you know he's the real deal he deserves to be an all-star yeah there's a reason that he's gonna get 250 million and yeah. you know t- super max like De'Aaron Fox is the guy mm-hmm. um but yeah, he 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 he's shown that, and Malik Monk too. I think again, it's the resurgence of Malik, Malik Monk. If you if you didn't know about Malik Monk, he's the real deal too. Mm-hmm. Um, he's really really good. So the Kings have some really bright things, but obviously this was kind of about Steph Curry, in my opinion. Yeah, um, yeah. He kind of just was torching them from three point land. I think he was averaging like thirty five yeah. this series. So. Yeah, ridiculous. He had Fifty points in a game seven. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> exactly. I mean, that pretty much summed up the series right there because the Kings were hooping. Man. Yeah, they were like, playing that was so such well. a good series. Like, and I, I'm not going to lie, like, I'm not like a Curry hater or nothing, but no. I just want to see a team that hasn't had any playoff success in the past or hasn't made the playoffs in like 16 years. I just wanted to see them play again because, like, it's possible for them to get to that point you know yeah, like they, that, like, they have those, those pieces to get there. It's just they're a young team. And I think this was. I mean, going to a game seven would definitely teach you a lot of things. In the oh, league. for sure. They and especially at that, they're like, they're like my age, you know? Like, yeah. Fox is like 25, 26. So, young. so, like, he still has time. And I think next year, they're like, they're going to be. Have a good of the be, year, too. Yeah, absolutely. As he And he deserved it, too. Yeah. So, it's like, you know, it, it's dope to see them being successful. And I'm, I'm excited. To, like, this, I'm more looking forward Sacked to what up. they're doing this upcoming year. Yeah. Honestly. Dude, because if, if they were number three seed this season, and like I, you know, there's injuries and stuff like that. But like, if I think they could probably potentially still be uh, at least a top four seed next year. Yeah, I'm excited to see that. But. Yeah, it was, that was this was by far the best series to mm. me in the first round, um, the most interesting. Mm. Um, but yeah, that that was that was really special to see. I'm I'm I'm, yeah. I'm happy to see how Sacramento's going to grow. From Hell this, yeah! So. Yeah, absolutely. So I guess we could go into the next series. It was the uh, first seed versus the fourth seed, Denver versus Phoenix. Um, Denver one and six. Uh, yeah. I guess like, what were your takeaways from this series? Um, honestly, I, I, I just think Kevin Durant and Devin Booker are crazy. Mm. I they shouldn't even even won two games. No, they should. Honestly, I, I I just think again like my takeaways from from both sides are, are obviously completely different. Mm. I think the Suns really really need depth. Um, like the Suns are kind of lost. I, I I think like Devin Booker and Kevin Durant cannot just carry you to wins in the playoffs every single time they can't play like 48 minutes every that's just not a recipe for success so my takeaway from that was kind of like they just need more on the bench they just need more in general i think monty williams needed more and it sucks that he got fired for that but because it really wasn't his fault i think matt ishbia really was the one who did that because he wanted kevin durant but Again, my takeaway from the Suns is is that mm-hmm. um, they they just need more. But the Nuggets, man, they're so good. Jokic, yeah, they're <laughs> they're insane. Uh, Jokic, 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 Jokic. 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 
Um, he but had yeah, what, 53 points in a loss. Right. He 53 when they lost. Um, you know, of course, Jamal Murray, too. Let's Jamal Murray's credit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I like, mean, he's definitely they, hooping. They as were, well. they were, again, they're the Nuggets. They're the one seed in the NBA. Yeah. They're, they're crazy. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, that was, that. my takeaway from the Nuggets was they're really, really good. I, mm. I honestly, honestly, I, so I'm, I'm a Lakers fan. Yeah. I, I don't like Denver at yeah. all. So I, I try not to watch them a yeah. ton. And, and, I start. I, I like Jokic a lot. Yeah. Um. I think it's hard not to like him, but yeah. I, I like Jokic. So I, I try to watch Denver a little bit, but like, I was watching them all. Like, I've been watching them throughout the playoffs, and I've been like shocked with how well they've been playing. Yeah. And and that's kind of what I've got got from that series was I was like, oh, sh yeah. Like Denver's the real deal. Yeah. 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 For sure. I mean, yeah. I feel like you're saying what I'm. Been, what you would, what, what I'm thinking say, as yeah, well. No, no, like, I mean, cool. Devin Booker, right KD. I mean, what more could you ask for? They they won them two games, and I think they were both averaging like thirty five or something. Yeah, like, that. like some ridiculous heroic like, dude. Yeah, like, like I think Booker shot like seventy percent in like all dude, damn Devin all the Booker games. Was, was like, going crazy. I I don't know. I mean, there's not much you could say about that. And then just Legit, Denver like, having probably the best part in, that's still in the playoffs right now. Yeah, in, in Jokic. So. I think he's the best player in the world to me. Yeah, probably right yeah. now. Yeah, I was, like uh, they they have the best player in the world right now. Yeah, and like even with Devin Booker going nuclear, like CJ was talking about, it's like it's not even enough because they they have Jokic. So yeah. Jokic. takeaways are, are are that it's yep. like we we think Phoenix needs more, and they do, yep. and we'll we'll kind of talk about that whenever we do our off season video. And yeah, then, um, the Nuggets are the Nuggets, and I think the Nuggets are here are kind of they might be starting a dynasty, maybe. Yeah, if maybe people can stay healthy. Uh, so. yeah, I won't say that yet. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I, if they can win this one. I feel like that would be uh, not enough, but you won a championship, so you're gonna be like so, like solidified in the NBA world. But I don't, maybe not even a dynasty, but I don't know. I feel like a lot of good teams are gonna be getting better in the West, so it's no, gonna for be sure. a lot harder. It's not gonna, you know, I'm mean, not not trying to be biased, but OKC, you know, what I'm saying is on the rise and. We're getting. We have a lot of okay. a lot of draft capital. So yeah, the OKC is definitely coming. I think. I I'm, think Shay is. I'm ready for Shea it. Shay is ready. I'm, Shea's I'm not, been ready. And like, I'm going to be like talking my shit too no, because 100%. like I've been a fan through, yeah. through the. I mean the downs, the, which is only missing like two thin. seven or two seasons, but like realistically, like they, we have not been a, a championship contender since Russ left. Okay. Yeah, no, for sure. So I mean, in MVP, the fact, yeah, MV, yeah, yeah, like you know what I mean. So, when he was dragging y'all along, mm -hmm. in the I wouldn't playoffs. even say that season. Like that was still like, oh, I mean, he might not even make it to the championship. Yeah. But if he did, it'd be like, oh, Russ is like that. For and sure. I mean, he is like that. Obviously, he's MVP yeah. for a reason, but not championship like him winning one by himself. Like, right. But uh, Point I guess still we, yeah. Uh, on to the next series, you know, your Lakers yeah, the, versus uh, again, the Warriors. Yeah, the Lakers just showing me that they're still capable mm -hmm. and LeBron's still capable. I think my takeaway for, for me was that uh, LeBron and Seth Curry are both getting older um, and they're, they're, they're human. You know, they're, you know, if you play them 45 minutes a night, they're going to get tired too. Um, those guys are both kind of pushing upwards of, 30 40 on now almost mm. i think curry's 35 bronze 38 so mm. yeah these guys are, are definitely getting older but it was it was nice to see the lakers battle again i think anthony davis played a really good series yeah. um i think again like especially defensively man like he's been he was he's been amazing me i i think his, he's been really wishy-washy like he's he hasn't been super consistent mm -hmm. he's been really up and down but i think his defensive efforts been good throughout the playoffs yeah. and i think that's kind of the reason why we we even went so deep and we were even able to kind of get swept by the nuggets but <laughs> yeah I, I think golden state i think their dynasty could be over yeah that's my takeaway that's another takeaway yeah. that i'm kind of you know as i'm you know talking i'm thinking about I'm thinking too. about it and stuff yeah i think their dynasty might kind of not necessarily be over over but be there's a there's going to be a, a little stop in the road yeah um but again the lakers just showing me they can battle showing me that their roster is still you know intact again i think the lakers are one of the more elite teams in the nba for sure like that's what they were showing me um so i was very impressed with my lakers yeah. and you know obviously i'm a little biased but that's kind <laughs> no, of of course that's kind of both sides for yeah, yeah yeah i was about to say i mean as an outsider looking into this series you know, you at this point you can't count Curry out and you can't count LeBron out. So yeah. it was just a good series as a basketball fan. We haven't seen them play since was it the twenty seventeen finals? Yeah, it was the or, finals. You know what I mean? So and that was 
a minute ago. A long time yeah. ago. So getting to see these two type of players play against each other again and there's history and, you know, uh, just a lot of stuff between the organizations and stuff recently. It's like, it's dope to see. Uh, this was one of those series that could have went seven and I wouldn't have missed prize, you know? Yeah, but, exactly. I mean, the fact that they got done in six, like... Lake, uh, the Lakers role players, man, just really stepped up. Yeah, and, and it was, Roy I think, was that the series that like, uh, fucking, what's his name? Who? Uh, because I know them. Fuck the dude that point guard from San Antonio, Lonnie, uh, Lonnie, Walker. Lonnie, Lonnie, Lonnie yeah. went off in like the was it the fourth quarter, third? Yeah, quarter? bro, and he had like won. fifteen straight points. Yeah, and so yeah, again, it, just it's dope to see that you know, like the players, battling. and that and that is what separates the great teams from the good teams, you know. The teams that are able to, you don't have to rely just on your main player to score and exactly. win you the games. Like your role players, if they're open, they're gonna make their shots, and you need exactly. that. And that's what I got out this season, series, and that's why they obviously made it to the Western Conference Finals, where they went against Denver, and obviously y'all got swept. Right. So I guess we as you know, a Lakers that. fan, what what are your thoughts? And you know, you kind of mentioned it earlier that you're holding your head up high, even though y'all got swept. And yeah, it's just kind of give us your your thoughts. Of yeah, that. this is recent now. Like now we're kind of like present almost. Yeah, I would this say. is like uh, a couple of days. Ago. Yeah, this is like recently. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm I'm impressed still. Mm. Like I'm still thankful for the season. I also like. I think it's crazy how I was just talking. Oh, so highly of the Lakers, and now it's like, oh, I'm thankful for the season. But it, it's really like that. Like I, I just think the Nuggets are so dominant again. Like that was my takeaway from the series. Yeah, it's like. Nikola Jokic is so dominant. It's it's just it's getting insane to the point where I we can't do anything. Yeah, like not even the best teams are really you know gonna step anywhere near the Nuggets stratosphere just because of that dude. So yeah, yeah I, again, I was I was watching it. I was in California for it, mm. um, so that was pretty cool too to kind of see that atmosphere and kind of see like the, how the fans were actually reacting in like real time. Mm. But. Uh, yeah, it was it was tough, but um, I, I have respect for the Nuggets again. That was kind of my takeaway for them is like they're just dominant and they deserve to be in the finals. And it was kind of a cakewalk, honestly. If you look at the, <laughs> well, yeah, we can do that at the end. But if we look at the bracket, it was kind of a cakewalk for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, absolutely. But yeah, I'm I'm proud of the Lakers again. The the role players, you know, I think D'Lo really struggled in this series. Yeah, like really as bad. a player, like like had they, people on Twitter saying that. Uh, trading Westbrook was like the worst thing they did. Yeah, like D'Lo, D'Lo struggled. Yeah. Um, he was not good, and I think that 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 might kind kind of haunt him this off season. But mm -hmm. I think LeBron's just again, I said it earlier, but just older, older. It's like reality. Yeah. Like I think I was, I, I saw him gassed. Like I've I've never actually seen him tired, like really tired. And and like he looked tired. Bro, you saw what he said, the right? What did he say? Like at the, in his in his the extra interview, I kind of did. I watched. Like a he bit. said that, like uh, you know, because obviously he, he said like one of his main goals in his career is to be able to play with Bronny. Yeah. And then he said that the like retirement. honestly after this, yeah, like, I don't. He, I think that's a facade. You think he's just saying that? Yeah, so, I think he's getting that to like get y'all like, make us think that right. he's retiring. Yeah. I, well, if I know Bron, but I, I don't know Bron, obviously not personal, but I feel like. It, it was when I saw that because I saw that they actually Polinka actually skipped his extra interview because mm. he said that he was like I don't want I don't want him to talk about 20 minutes about it um, but yeah that was kind of what we got from that series like yeah. or, or for, for me at least personally yeah. it was like the Nuggets are super dominant LeBron's human yep. the Lakers still have a little bit of work to do yep. for my fan you know fandom yep. whatever yeah absolutely but yeah I was I was impressed with Jokic and yeah. I'm impressed with the Nuggets this year yeah yeah no absolutely I think that's that was the thing you know obviously they the Nuggets were talking about in their like post-game interviews y'all Y'all are talking about how, oh, the Lakers are down 0-2, not that the Nuggets are up 2-0. Right. Like, y'all's narrative is just trying to make it to where... No, yeah, they haven't like got them. the respect they deserve. Yeah, and like, and I feel like them getting to this point is, like, good, you know? Like, uh, it, it's great to see them finally in the conference or in the finals, you know? And, like, right, rightfully so, like, y'all deserve to be in these conversations, but up prior to this season, y'all haven't proved it to us. So, like, there's no real reason for us to take y'all serious in the playoffs, realistically. So, exactly, I mean, can't really blame them. Like, the media is the media at the end of the day, and they're going to try to get clicks, and that might have rubbed y'all the wrong way. But now I think we're, we can take y'all serious. Y'all have proven to us you can make it to the finals. So like now, from Denver now on... Denver Nuggets, we see you. Yeah, yeah, we see y'all, man. <laughs> yeah, like, like nah, for real. So that I'm was my takeaway. And yeah, then like, obviously, Lakers, you know, 
Then, then go. What did you think about the Western Conference Finals MVP? Did you think that it should have been Jamal Murray or, um, or Jokic? I guess that's the question. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that could. I could. could I could. I could. Either I could way. Went either way. Yeah. Okay. It's one of those like we could probably have like a debate about it. Really, yeah. Because like I, it is you know. Obviously, Jokic was averaging. I thought Murray was going to win. Really? I thought they were going to give it to him because I thought, I think Jokic, if they win the finals, he'll get MVP. For sure. Right. Yeah. So So I I just thought the NBA was going to do him a solid, but there's no participation trophy. Yeah, there's no participation trophy. Like, yeah, I mean, I said it, like, like either way, like uh, you know, <laughs> it's at, like, at no. the end of the day, this is just kind of like uh, like bragging rights. Like, oh you yeah, know, exactly. I, I won that. Exactly. You know what I mean? But like, exactly. realistically, as a as a team, they're I'm pretty sure they're and like that's why I fuck with Jokic too, man. He just seems like he's like a really good dude, and like he doesn't have like doesn't feel a certain type of way of if like oh, yeah, individual he's... awards. He uh, he just Super wants to humble. win a championship at the end. Yeah, of the year. dude. And um. You know, I feel like, like at as your best player and your leader of a team, like you need that. You need a team player. You don't need that. Like, oh no, I'm just trying to go out here, win MVP, get all these yeah, stats. And I care and about all that. Empty stats and so so. It, it's dope to see that, and uh, I'm congrats excited to, the to yeah, congrats, yeah, congrats first to the Denver time Nuggets. in franchise history. Yeah, it's a big deal. And I think it's been since like congrats the 70s, to you guys. So shout out. Oh shit, Whoa. we're doing this now? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I know you thought that video was fire. Smash that like button so we know you want more. And uh, leave a comment of a poop emoji so that I know you got to the end. Goodbye. Oh, we gotta get out of here.